Uh, hi everyone, I'm just doing a very quick screencast on how to do Karma testing uh, using ClojureScript. So, Karma is a test runner for JavaScript um, and it is used by the AngularJS team, so it's very popular. Um, and since ClojureScript doesn't really have a um, nice test runner, um, I've decided to show you an example of how I'm using it in my projects. So the the, the current project is here and um, there's instructions of how to clone it. Um, but I'll just show you quickly how it's done. Um, so I've already downloaded it. Um, and the first thing we'll do is to set up a, um, a configuration file for Karma. So I want to set up for Chrome. Um, and it is using the Jasmine framework. Um, I don't require, require JS. Um, I'm using Chrome. Um, and my location of the test file is this name here, so let me just type it in karmatest.js um, so that's fine because we're going to generate it and no exclusions yes, so now our test file is set up um, and you can see here it's just JavaScript so we can now start it up. Um, and it will start up a browser and it will um, this this browser connects to this terminal. And wherever we um, have tests it will just run them. So I'm gonna minimize it and this will just keep on going in the background um, and this will just keep on connecting what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build um, um, our file so I'm gonna use auto it's gonna take a while because it's just my computer's a bit slow so in the meantime as it's compiling um, I'll talk about the structure of testing. So, um, my project is called Purnam, and in it I've got, um, it, it's uh, mainly a framework to work with AngularJS, but um, I decided that the, the testing framework was, was really important, and so um, decided to add it in um, support for Karma and um, we describe tests with um, describe a um, bit of documentation and um, the is um, syntax so you can hear, see here I've, I've defined a couple of tests now it is compiled so I'm not sure why it's not updating, so I'll just I'll start it again. And there you go. So you can see here that now that it's compiled, um, two of my tests are failing. Um, and we can just go in there and fix them up. So let's fix them up. Two and... Um, so if I press save, um, save here, it will it will run again. And this time I've got one failed instead of two. So I'm going to correct this to 105. And there you go. So everything is now um, successful. And what I usually do is I just leave leave this file in my background um, and 
and I have the I have the um, the auto compile running for C C L J S build, and I can just start adding more tests in. So add five thousand. Um, these are really bland examples. Um, I'll try to do another example. Are you serious? This is wrong. Um, oh, sorry. Whoops. I just uh, stuffed up the, the build there. I'll try to add more examples um, for um, actually how to test Angular JS directives later. But you know, this is just a quick demo of what's happening now. You can see here that. It's compiling again, and we'll just wait a little bit. But um, it's still not working. I'm not sure why, but CSJS build used to be a little bit better than this because when I had um, code that was wrong, it would actually just throw an error and not quit so I hope they fix this up in the next version of CAJS build um, but let me save this and we'll try to get it working again and with what we can do here is to you know put a document on here we can put some globals in here um, so you know you don't have to type that much. Um, it just makes it quite nice to use Jasmine and it makes things quite readable. Um, in the Jasmine framework um, they, they didn't used to allow you to use fractions and so we can, um, not fractions, functions, so we can change this here and um, you know, see what happens and you know it'll, it'll give a nice error or well, sort of um, um, and you notice that it actually there's a macro expansion here so the errors don't exactly match up but it's okay for now so we'll change this back and there you go everything's successful so hope this is helpful and um, yeah good luck